Everything but a brass band. We thought about ordering one for you, Hawkins. We just didn't know what tune to play for you. Could have tried California, here he comes. In C minor. Hey, you really need all these troops. And on a Sunday, man? Or is that just to make sure I look guilty before the trial's even started? We just hate to have you run off and hide on us again for another six or seven years. <laughs> really had you going around in circles, didn't I? 12Y90 to 12Y50 and all units on TAC-1. Roger your position report. 12Y52, 50 requests you switch to TAC-1 and intercept at checkpoint 2. ETA 20 past the hour. Roger, 90. 50, are we going for the alternate to point 2? Negative 52. Stick with plan A unless Sunday traffic backs up. Pepper, what are you doing here so early on a Sunday? Too many dirty dishes in the sink. Dear Bill didn't want me in on this one, so he stuck me in here doing research on Gabe Hawkins. So here you are, listening. Where else can you get a better cup of coffee? Afraid Bill might get bushwhacked? Bill thinks, to some people, Gabe Hawkins is still big stuff. I think those disciples of his are knee-deep in crabgrass and PTA elections. Oh, you do? You want to read through what I found? You uh, really think I still got friends out there? What do I know? I'm just a cop. You'd uh, like that, though, wouldn't you? Then you can shoot them up and be done with them. Let me tell you something, Hawkins. You know, you're really not that important anymore. Except maybe to a few misfits out there looking for a guru. You'd love for something to happen, though, wouldn't you, baby? Because I'm going to beat this trial. If I get to the courtroom alive. You know what I'd really love, Hawkins? If you could close your mouth for about five minutes. Hey there, Gil. See anything yet? No, not yet. I'll let you know.
What the hell's a backup? Trailer. Open the door. Avery. Get in there. Move. Move. That's a closet. Get in there. There's no air in there. Then be a gentleman and don't breathe. How long are you going to hold us here? As long as it takes, Chocho-san. And while you're in there, you can give him a massage. That's what you do, isn't it? I am a legal secretary. <gasps> to love her, boy? I'll bet. <coughs> <coughs> Twelve Y fifty requesting clear frequency for a tactical alert. Twelve Y fifty, Roger. All units on TAC one. This frequency is on a standby for a tactical alert. Twelve Y fifty, go ahead with your broadcast. Twelve Y fifty. We have three suspects barricading a motel. Suspects armed with automatic weapon shots have been fired. Suspects are barricading a motel on the southwest corner of Lima and Olive. We've established a command post and a construction site trailer on the northeast corner of Lima and Olive. Request backup SWAT unit with gas and five patrol units. Code three. 12Y50, Roger. Joe, check the binocular case. You've got any glasses in there.
Ah, we can't fire. She's got hostages. savings in a business. Now, the first year, everything was fine. Even my wife said, Benny, Benny, I think maybe we hit pay dirt or gold or oil or something. Then what turns out to be a beautiful Sunday morning, everything's going... Good morning. Oh, well, what the hell are you doing here? I finished my research. Who's she? You. She's a cop. She could have fooled What you got? I, I don't know. Harkin seems to think one of them is Halle Barrett. Barrett? Yeah. I thought she died two years ago when that bomb factory blew up in the valley. Yeah, that's exactly what she wanted us to think. I don't suppose Hawkins has anything to do with this? I doubt it. I think he's smartened up enough to invest his money in a good lawyer instead. Mm -hmm. They got all approaches covered, rigged with explosives. They've even got a couple of hostages up there. Got them identified yet? No, not yet. The manager back, Mr. Grisby, said that uh, the man seems to be some important wheel, he thinks. At least he's too important to let him get blown up in a dump like this. Hey, this might be a dump to you. How but this important? Is, I, I don't know, but I've seen this picture on newspapers and on television. Listen, what you call a dump here, it, it, uh, okay, it's a dump, but uh, I own it. Mr. And it feeds my uh, family. Sergeant Lakers yeah. wants to wrap with you yeah. right away. Yeah, uh, why don't you sit down, Mr. Grisby? You okay? Yeah, I said uh, right away. Yeah, okay. Just, just go please. Take a look. Okay. Some cop tried to make the stairs and scared him. Good. Try not to hit anybody. I want him to negotiate. Go show yourself at that window. Holly, if we get him wasted, all we have to negotiate with is one chick. Get over there. Why doesn't that damn phone ring? I don't know, but... Hey, there's a whole bunch of SWAT guys down there now. Avery, sweetie, they're not going to SWAT anybody. We've got hostages. Hostages, understand? Yeah. Well, there's no way you can get close enough to bust in there without a lot of people getting shot. Sure there is. We just hit them with some tear gas. Well, then they'd have time to kill everybody they got in there and blow up the place. I, no disrespect, Al, but that's not some nut with a gun on his girlfriend. Those are maniacs with hostages. You know who they are? It doesn't make any difference who they are. The procedure's the same. No, no, no tear gas, not yet. All right, but you tell me what to do. I got it. What? You get on the bullhorn and distract him, and I'll get in there. No way, I'm not sending anybody in there with those maniacs. Well, let me try it. At least I can plant a spike mic next door. <laughs> At least we can hear what's going on, okay? Over my dead body, kid. Somebody's got to go in. You send a guy, they're going to know it's a cop. Send me, they won't... Damn it, I, I said I, I no, can get Pep. through. I said... Why didn't you stay in the office like you were supposed to? I was in the office. I did all my work. Then now go I'll home. Nobody needs you. He's right, okay? Anderson. He's right. You go up there and they'll... And I'll go into one of my routines. I'll think of something. Pepper, will you cool it, please? Boston, I've been on report enough. before. Now, I may be due again. Will you shut up? What? Shut up, will you? Uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm Sergeant Anderson. I need a spike mic and some phones. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean, ma'am. I asked you a question. What? Are you lover boy secretary? Yes. What's he into? Waterbeds? I'm a lawyer. Ah. Oh, first kill the lawyers. Shakespeare, remember? No, I don't recall that one. Hey, Allie, can we get this thing over this fast? I, I'm hurting really bad. <sighs> They've got Gabe Hawkins. If he goes to trial, they'll bury him for life. I'm not leaving this country without him. This country? What about me? I don't want to go to any more countries where I, where I can't even drink the water. Yeah. 
Ali? Ali Vereker? This is Sergeant Crowley. I'd like to talk to you for a minute. Ali? What do you say? Let me come up and talk to you for a bit, Ali, huh? Let me explain something, Ali. I tell you, if you're gonna get out of there, we gotta establish some kind of communication. I, uh... I got a phone number over here. I want you to call me. 555-3498. 555-3498. Call the number, Hallie. Give me a call, will you? Hallie, I'm willing to come up unarmed. Okay? Hallie, can you hear me? What do you say? What do you say, Hallie? Huh? <coughs> What's the matter with you? I told you it hurts. Did you see anything out there? Back to the window. <coughs> you don't talk much. Just Hallie. Um, listen, uh, I've got a pretty good way with words. Yeah. How'd you like me to carry the ball for you? Negotiate. Try to make some kind of a deal. 
There's nothing to negotiate. I want Gabe Hawkins. And a safe ticket out of here. Let him sweat. Well, looks like we're gonna be here a long time. No, we're not. I'm gonna set a deadline. Four o'clock. It's 45 minutes from now. And then what? Then I guess I'm gonna have to give them proof that I'm not playing games. What kind of proof do you have in mind? I want to jazz what's really on your mind. Which one of you goes first? Oh, dear God. No, don't, don't worry, Nellie. Everything's gonna be all right. Yeah, take a letter. I'm your boss. Everything's gonna be all right, Millie. <sighs> Avery, call a man and tell him after four o'clock he's gonna need a bulldozer to find these civilians. Well, now it's getting heavy up there. Oh. Yeah, I thought you were getting me some coffee. If I did, you'd only spill it on yourself and then holler police brutality. You think I could talk to her, don't you? You want to talk to her? <laughs> Try and influence Halle Verica to give up. If she ever did that, she'd have nothing left to live for. What about her family, friends? Family? The lady's got more love for any stray dog than for her own mother or any other human being. Halle's got nobody. Nothing but her crazy ideas about revolution. <laughs> about me. Then maybe she'll listen to you. If I bail you out, what's in it for me? You got another great idea? Listen, are you sure you don't want me to go down there and try to reason with those guys? I think I can get you a deal you can live with. Only you just might forget to come back. And when my deadline came around, who would I have left to shoot your little bimbo here? I am not a bimbo. No, you're a Shinto saint. Come to pay your respects to Buddha here. OK, now it's my turn for a great idea. Why don't I send her across the street? And then they'd know that I'd have nobody left to shoot but you. You won't have to shoot anybody. They'll probably give you what you want. They can't afford not to. Well, then what are you getting so desperate about then? Huh? Because later, when we all come out, there's going to be nothing but wall-to-wall -wall reporters, photographers, and TV. <laughs> oh, so that's it. You don't care who gets shot here. You just care about your public image, right? <laughs> <laughs> Day chicken. Mm. That uh, chick across the street, she'd talk to you, wouldn't you? I don't know. And you know what? I have no intention of finding out. I mean, you wouldn't say anything to prevent her from knocking off two hostages. Makes you look kind of silly, doesn't it? Baby, I am not involved. Fact is, I'm in your corner. Last place in the world I want to spend the rest of my days is in some fly-blown little revolutionary capital with uh, 18th century plumbing and 15th century police methods. Man, I've been there. <laughs> well, I'll take my chances in a good old U.S. courtroom any day. As long as I can afford the best law. You want to help us out or don't you? Go ahead, Sarge. I'm a good listener. How do we get through to her? Kill her. The rest of them give up in a minute. Is that the best you can do? And if she pulled off that rescue, I'd be more scared than those hostages. The lady is idealistic, brilliant, dedicated. But if you ever dare disagree with her on anything, she'll squash you like a bug. Halle Verica has not just uh, planted a whole lot of uh, neat little packages of TNT. She's been a ticking bomb for as long as I've known her. And the day she goes off, and it sounds like she's ready to blow. I sure wouldn't want to be in the same room with her. Yeah, Hallie, this is Sergeant Crowley. Have you had time to think it over? How do we get this thing organized? I want Gabe Hawkins and a plane with enough fuel to get me to a free country. 
You've got 23 minutes left. Hollywood. I'm thirsty. Shut up. What is it? I thought I heard some noise inside the wall. Huh? Go check it out. My contact lens. Get up, slut. Watch your mouth, sir. What do you? Oh, you want money? All right, I got twelve dollars. I got a watch. Look, I don't want your junk or your money now. Let's go. What are you? Let's go. Playing to a free country by four o'clock with you on it. Or else, boom, she blows up the world. I wanted to tell her that you're not interested, but she hung up on me. What about it? You think you might be able to talk to a lady? <laughs> I talked to her, and the TV boy's gonna call it an accomplice. And that joy is just gonna fall all over themselves to bury me. No way, friend. Not unless you drop all charges. You know that there's nothing I can do about that. You want her out of your hair, you send in the Marines. Don't ask me to save your jobs for you. Bill, listen, if you don't have a deal by 355, I'm gonna have to go on this. I'm gonna have to. Al, I want that brought out of there alive. Now, Verica knows the name of every underground leader in this country, every walking time bomb. Besides, one of my people's up there, and I don't want anything to happen to her. Is that clear? You understand what I'm saying? Good, but I'm still gonna have to prepare for a possibility. You do that, Al. Sid, what's this all about? How come they didn't get you out of here when all the shooting was going on? What? What shooting? You gotta be kidding. I was in the shower. Before or after? Before or after what? You and your dude did your thing. I was in there alone until this person came in with that. I'll bet. Whoever you are, I am from San Diego. I'm driving to San Francisco to see my folks. I stopped in this motel. This motel? Hot sack heaven? Avery, did you see any bags, uh, luggage in your room? Not even a toothbrush. No clothes? Where do mommy and daddy live? In a nudist camp? Go check it out. All right. There is no luggage. I was in there for a while. Man left. I took a shower. And all you heard was the water. I sing in the shower. What's your name? Carol Lee, what's yours? Carol Lee. Well, you've got to be married, right? Otherwise, you wouldn't be here with any gentleman caller, right? I'm divorced. Divorced. With a, with a jealous ex-husband. Sunday is his day with the kids. It's mine to do whatever I want, and it's none of your damn business. Curious, just curious. You divorced too, lover boy? Huh? Well, is he? No. Uh, I've got 19 minutes left. And you're gonna blow us all up. If they rush us, we're all dead anyway. At least we'll go out in style. 
Not if we surrender. Oh, Gil, knock it off. <coughs> hey, how did you get hurt like that? Doesn't anybody know any first aid? Somebody should call him a doctor. Hey! Did somebody forget to tell you you're a hostage here? Now sit down and shut up. I'm gonna call him a doctor. Sit down and shut up! Hey, man, how about a hamburger? Anything. The officer who drove our car, he died a few minutes ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you're sorry. I guess this doesn't look too good for my uh, disciples, does it? It doesn't look too good for you either, Gabe. Hey, you think that jury's gonna hold that against me? They're just human beings. Somebody's been killed. They want to see somebody punished. It's called balancing the books. Now, you, you listen to me. I don't accept this as my problem. I didn't ask these two-bit toy soldiers to bust me out. You figure a jury will believe that? Look, if that stupid DA hadn't decided to prosecute me, none of us be here right now. Well, the fact is we are here, Hawkins. And those toy soldiers of yours will either blow themselves up with their hostages or they'll come in peacefully if you tell them to. Not me, baby! You aren't gonna hold this against me. Not Helly Verica. She seems pretty stuck on you. Sure, she's crazy about me. But five minutes alone with her and we're both ready to kill. I am sorry for the hostages. I truly am. But not as sorry as I am for numero uno. Yeah, this is Sergeant Crowley. Who's this, Hallie? I have three hostages and 12 sticks of dynamite. In 13 minutes, they go up together, unless we're on our way to the airport with Gabe Hawkins. Hey, come on, Hallie. Uh, listen, give us a break, will you? These things take time. You see, I, uh, I really don't have the authority that... To... You get it. Fast. And if you don't believe I'm serious, you just hang up and hang on. Negotiating position. I've still got go at 355. Yeah. Now, look, I am getting pressure. One of my men found an E license plate out in the parking lot. We checked it out. Belongs to a city councilman named McCann. Now, the brass wants action before those people up there find out who it is they've got. Sergeant Crowley. Yes, Captain. All right, Crowley, I want it straight. What's it like over there? Well, right now it's pretty hairy, sir. Well, then why isn't Acres moving in? Well, I. Thought it might be worthwhile if we wait a little longer, if I can negotiate. Uh, look, waiting isn't the answer. Anderson's in there, sir. What? That's right. See, Pepper duked her way into the motel, something went wrong, and now they got her hostage with the other two. All right, Crowley, I'll leave it up to you. But if it gets any more hairy, I want you to tell Akers to go. There are other lives involved. You know that. Yes, sir, I know that. One of you. What? I gotta make a trip. The bathroom. Uh, Gil? Stay with him, huh? I still say the boy needs a doctor. Ah, he's all right. Gil, I told you to stay with him. Get in there. Give me those. Jack. Craig McCann, city councilman. Now, isn't this a piece of luck? You go across the street and you tell him who we've got. Why don't you call? Make a deal. Afraid the TV cameras are going to have a field day, huh? But this time, the cameras are going to be working for me. You tell them I've just decided that I'm not going to blow everybody up at 4 o'clock. I'm going to execute one of the hostages right out there on that balcony in plain view of the cameras. 
There's no way you couldn't have heard those shots. I told you, I was in the shower. Even with a shower cap, your hair would have been damper on the edges. <sighs> that was half an hour ago. Avery, go check that room, inch by inch. I told you, I was in the shower. Obnoxious form of animal life. Well, this is gonna be a real pleasure. You don't get the point. We don't want you killed. Get out on that balcony! Just remember, out there, they might think time's up. Theirs and yours. Get out there! Stuck at your show, Al, okay? Know why I wanted to come over here? I wanted to be sure you understood. 
Gabe Hawkins doesn't want to be sprung. He doesn't want any part of you. Two-bit toy soldiers is what he called you. You're obsolete, Hallie. People, including Hawkins, are just plain sick of you. Gabe loves me! Pick up the phone and call him. You're lying! He's got himself a big Washington lawyer. He couldn't care less what happens to you. What's he gonna pay him? We hear he just finished writing a book. Big cash advance. You're in it, Hallie. Not very flattering, I'm afraid. You've got about four minutes left. You reckon the TV cameras are, are focused in on you yet? Hold it. Let her go. You obviously think you have to shoot somebody. And by your criteria, I'm better qualified than most. Why? Well, after this is all over, what have I got to go back to? My face on the six o'clock news? Calls for my resignation? Divorce? Well, what do you know? Lover boy's got feelings. <laughs> Get back inside, pig! is covered by your uh, loyal soldiers here. Which one of them do you think let me get past him? You try to tell me one of them's a plant? You think if you keep talking, you'll live longer? Just wondered if you thought about it. She's right. None of us is airborne. But I knew what she was all along. And you didn't tell me? It's the only way I figured we'd get out of here alive. Gil, you covered for a cop spy? Hallie, it's all over. Gabe doesn't love you. Gabe doesn't want you. Gabe doesn't want to go on any more trips with us. If he did, wouldn't he be here by now? It's all over! Nothing. Gabe! Hallie America. 
the queen of the toy soldiers. Only she didn't know when to get off her throne. Well, didn't you want us to get you out of the country? No, baby. I've been. Councilman? Councilman, thank you for what you tried to do up there. I just did what I had to do. Mm, it was a frightening experience for all of us. Yes. Now I'd better get home and sort things out. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Don't you ever put me in that position again, you hear me? Don't you ever do that to me again. Are you getting my message? I ought to bust you right down to the bottom, Pat. How would you like to be a meter maid? I know I broke the rules. You broke every rule in the book. Now, you're a, you're a smarter cop than that. I thought you were a smarter cop. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're not such a smart cop. I am a good cop. You call that being a good cop? Huh? You're mad at me, aren't you? Mad at you? No, I'm not mad at you, Captain. I'm just going to kill you. 